In terms of jobs, what else are we looking for? Just out of curiosity. Oh, this is only for level 2, my god. A peccary bone, can't get it. Rabbit hide, can't get it. Horned lizard, okay, I can't get any of these other ones. No. It'll be nice if we're always passively looking for at least one thing, though. So maybe once we get back to a workbench, I'll passively... Or uh, I'll make another job for something. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, no. Oh, how do you swan dive again? <laughs> okay, that wasn't it. For a second, it seemed like she was going to do it. Like her hands were in the air, but I might have messed it up. Oh, well. That would have been the perfect spot. These things don't come by often, like these kind of spots, so... <laughs> hard for us to uh, learn what we're doing wrong specifically. So the metal flower here, I don't think we have to come back for it, because we already got the thing behind it. Which is strange, because... Why... Like, I'm not sure why they gave me a way to wrap around it. Making the flower useless. Don't get me wrong, I'm happy, because now it means I don't have to come back, but it's just a little bit puzzling. <laughs> That's all. Hey all. Don't get mauled by the machines out there either. I'm back at the cave entrance. I can make my way back to Riverhim from here. We killed the one wide maw. Is that okay? Because if we kill the source of the metal pods, then you're not going to be able to get more metal pods. Maybe we're messing up the ecosystem here somehow. Uh oh. I got what you needed. Not a moment too soon. Did you find Voss? I brought his seed pouch back. I pray it'll be the last I bury. But now I need to get the weapons ready. Let's hope it'll be enough. It'll have to be. Wow. It's been one day. I kind of like the timing. Because it's like we knew they were going to come the next day, so we slaved away overnight to make sure that we'd be able to get the weapons ready before they come. Everyone stay behind cover until I give the signal. Yeah, I'm going all in. Oh, hello! Oh, we have some jumping attacks now. How do I jump on them and then do a... Wasn't that a thing? Or maybe I have to review that attack. Can we damage somebody by jumping on them? Seems like we're doing some jumping. I'll go up in front. You guys stay back. You guys get him with your bows. Oh my god. We're not getting it. Wish we had a big bomb or something. We could just... Okay, Shredder Pack. Oh! We tower fighter! Oh! Wait. The acid didn't work. That good enough? What? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. What's this guy weak against? Shock. Claws Rider. We just fought it earlier. Can I get another tail from you? Okay, I'm not gonna push my luck. Oh, 
Oh, we gotta be careful about the tail sweep. Oh. Oh. Does the rope caster not work on it? I'm trying to hold you down so you're not so annoying. Oh, we got it. We got it. Oh, this is the this is the bristle back. Guys, come on. Get this guy. I know you can. I'll assist you with ropes. I'll help. Oh, that's at the neck rebel right there. Come on, guys. Trying to fill my berry bag. I'm trying to make it so that they get the kill. But I think we'll just have to... Okay, they got the kill. There's more. Another one, dude. Oh, you guys can do it. They're on fire! Defend your home, everybody! More? Well, there's one duty. Oh, why is there like a random... What the hell? Are you... Hiding here? What are you doing here? Guess these young ones knew how to aim after all. Even so, we owe you this victory, Huntress. It wasn't my strategy or craft that got us here, Q. I just brought in some parts. Even so, I want you to have this. It did <gasps> good by my people. It'll do good by you. I'll take good care of it. Be safe out there. What is it? Oh my god. Okay, we protected them for now. Hopefully that's going to be good. Q's Sharp Shot Bow. Plus two skill points. Let me review the one where we have to jump on somebody again. Jump off an enemy to quickly reposition yourself and create distance. Yeah, so I just jump on somebody normally, right? I think my, my melee attacks have like a jumping pattern to them now. I think? Melee detonator. Power attack. I don't charge up that often. Resonator build up, sh sure. Resonator damage. Half moon slash. Close in on an enemy with a quick strike. Oh. Yeah. Even though we don't use melee super often, I like it. I like it. There's so much stuff in my inventory I never look at. All these like little exclamation marks. Q's Sharp Shot Bow The result of Q's metal weaving, the bow is quick on the draw and is best used at shorter range to tear off machine parts. Basic bow Can I compare it to something else? Can't even equip it. For some reason, when you look at the weapon screen in certain ways, like earlier I couldn't do anything about it, but now I can. Yeah. Um, can I just... Oh, okay, that's a lot more helpful. Sorting, ah, oh, okay, th oh, this is perfect. But my sharp shot bow is better. It doesn't have a perk, but the damage is higher. Yeah, my slicing hunter bow doesn't have high damage. But that's because I upgraded this one. It's fully upgraded. That's why the damage is high. Maybe if I fully upgrade this one, it'll be good as well. Got a coil slot. Oh, I've got one slot. Agility damage. Increase damage dealt while falling or sliding. Duh, knock down enemies. Is 
Impact. Do I have impact damage right now? What does the icon for impact look like? I'm not sure. I'll just do this one. Increase damage against knockback. Oh! Oh, I can't share coils. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure. Explosive damage I don't have. Falling or sliding? Okay, I'll try sliding more if I can, hopefully. Thank you, thank you. Got so much here. Sword it all. Yes, yes, yes. We're good. We're good. Gaia Kernel. Intact data storage unit retrieved from the Hades Proving Lab. Contains a viable copy of the Gaia Root Kernel. But we need these subsystems. Igniter, Holcaster, Shieldwing, which I have completely forgotten about. <laughs> Tags card with a Tanakh squad symbol. These were the tags that we got from the outpost. One of the outposts. Okay. Beware, Outlander. These plants only been a while. Hmm. What have you been up to? You all doing all right? How do you do? How did it go in the old? The first bloom of the winter song. I can feel the heaviness of my years fade away just by looking at them. They're beautiful. It was good to see the young ones fight for this place. I'll be damned if those sprouts didn't hold their own, strong as the roots of a proud tree. Just don't tell them I said that. Your secret's safe. <laughs> now, I better make sure our newly victorious warriors don't injure themselves while celebrating. So the little icon we're seeing with people is because they have new dialogue, I guess? Hi. Nell. Oh, Nell! Groves continue to bloom. Thanks. Aloy. I can't believe it. I came back ready for a fight and instead found that you had already ended one. I wasn't alone. Your people are lucky to have Q leading them. Stubborn as weeds, that one. I'm just glad we're all back in Riverhem. For good, this time. May the land always bloom in your steps, Aloy. I'm glad they have weapons, because I can't come back here all the time when they need help. They need to defend themselves, too. Good, fantastic. Now, I'm wondering if you guys have a workbench I could use here? Maybe not? If you want to improve your next hunt, let's trade. Oh, sickle lady. Scary sickle ladies. Haven't used a single fast travel pack. <laughs> yeah, we're good. Wait. No, you don't... You're not selling me anything useful. I want, like, weapons and stuff. Return and we shall make a trade. But here's my workbench. All right. Now we can upgrade our slicing hunter bow. I'm guessing for the third upgrade, they're not going to let me do it. Yeah. Okay, so we're unlocking overdraw damage. So perfect. Or um, one of the coils mentioned overdraw damage. What is it? Overdrawing a bow? Overly drawing a bow? Guess we'll have to see. Oh, we can get the third one. Wide Maw Circulator. Which I got already. And... Uh, Oh, Wide Maw Primary Nerve. This is just for killing a Wide Maw. We can do that. Yeah, passively. Alright. Cool. Overdraw damage. Increases damage dealt while using Overdraw with a weapon. What does using Overdraw mean, though? Hmm. We'll figure it out. The next one I use after that the most... Okay, we can upgrade the Rowcaster a little bit, maybe. Yeah, these are pretty cheap. Scrapper circulators. Hold stuff down for a little bit longer. Just watch. As soon as I upgrade this, they're gonna show me something better. The next one I use the most after all of this... Sharp Shot Bow, to be honest. But if I upgrade this one, maybe it'll show me better stats in the end? I don't really know, though. Pretty cheap. So we'll do it. Oh, Claw Strider Circulator. I can't. Okay. 
yeah, for every single new monster <laughs> machine type that we come across, maybe it's a good idea just to make note of the key upgrade resource and try to passively get them. Even if we don't need need to. Ooh, want to try using the Karja outfit for a little bit? Can we upgrade this? This is more like a trap build. Which, to be honest, I'm probably not going to make use of. But hey, it's here. Quick Trapper. Perfectly upgraded. <laughs> the one I'm wearing right now is not perfectly upgraded. Long Leg Wing Burner. Long Leg. We've seen Long Legs. Yeah, that might be a good one to get for the future. But I'll... I'll switch over now. Awesome Room Explorer, another choice we have. What's this one? Critical Strike, Power Attack, Melee? Yeah, I mean, I'll... I'll <laughs> I'm not gonna freaking use traps. <laughs> I'll try my best. I'll try my best. If it's cheap, I'll upgrade it. Yeah, I was looking to get back to a workbench so that we could spend some time on the coils and stuff. So I guess that's now. Ah, oh, Green Shine Fragments! We use these for upgrades? Oh, maybe I shouldn't have used that then. Green Shine Cluster. <gasps> I just used a whole bunch of them. Oh no. Well, okay. Hey, if I if I put a job, if I make a job, will you tell me where the green shine is? Show on map. Green shine fragment. Oh wow, you really do. <laughs> I'm not gonna say no to that. Okay. Sweet. Hello. Okay. A little bit higher damage than before. And this one, upgraded. Fantastic. Oh, I have to equip my new outfit. Karja Blazen. Blazen? Worn by members of the Hunter's Lodge. I'll use this one for Talana. But maybe for now, I'll just try to trick people into thinking I'm Karja. Oh, traps, traps, traps. Yeah, sure. Just make sure I'm filled up on all these... this ammo here. Okay. The next thing we should do... Quest-wise, I don't think we have any more side quests that we know about. Does that mean there aren't any more side quests? I don't think so. Maybe we just have to come across it first. So maybe let's begin by going to the shelter here. And then we'll maybe get around over here. For sure. There's one outpost. It's not a explicit quest, but we should probably do it. And then I don't think we need to finish all the side quests before we go back to Plain Song, so we'll go back to Plain Song in time as well. Did we finish looking around River Him? Is there more to look around here? <laughs> That's the spirit. River Him holds a special place in the hearts of There's so many trees. You know how long. We're not supposed to say this, but. I don't we want it to be my time yet. The You're the only ones I can say this to. I'm terrified. Why? Greetings. Your time to die? I think I'm late for my duties. Oh, better hurry up then. Having a good day? Everyone seems happy enough for now. Not now. Is Nell doesn't have to worry about her people getting invaded. The Tanakh have backed off for now because they're clearly no match the Utari here. Okay. And we're back on our trail. Get this from my stash when I need it. This is fairly close by. Oh, there was a raccoon. It's a branch. We gotta hold more berries in our pouch. My god, I'm always running out of berries. Oh, this is so close to river him. Another workbench. Don't particularly need it right now, but good to have.
We continue westward. In the entire context of the Forbidden West, the area that we're in right now is really not that west, because there's still like, wow, so much more going on. Hopefully our upcoming expedition trips will just be mainly, you know, sightseeing and stuff. No machines really disturbing us. Isn't it a little bit strange how we find out about these question marks from maybe the tall neck? But the tall neck doesn't really know what's here. They know something is here, but they don't know what exactly. I wonder if there's like um in-game explanation for that. It's always good to have extra. Alright, what do we look Oh that the elevation looks a bit like maybe a cave. Are we at a dead end? Oh no no, it's... Um, hmm... Sunken Cavern, Restless Weld? Weld? Or, uh, oh, I get the impression this is my... This might be one of those places that we can't go to because... Because we don't have the thing. <laughs> I might die again. I'll give it a try. Swim faster, Aloy. Here is okay. Oh, I don't know how much more we can go. Oh. I don't care so much about these chests while we're underwater, because honestly, it's not worth it. It's like one metal shard. Okay, we might have skipped what they wanted me to look at. Because I feel like we're already exiting here, aren't we? Or not? Wait. Oh, okay, it's, it's a cave, but my actual question mark... I guess that was the question mark, and... Oh, we can find a green shine fragment here. Okay. Oh, and then there's another relic ruins. Good. We can find another ornament that people have been dropping all over the place for whatever reason. Because they really hate Kyle. What's this? In reality, if we left rust or like metal structures alone for a thousand years, would they really still be standing here, I wonder? It's kind of insane to me. I feel like even if it does stand, if it still remains standing, it would probably crumble the moment we touch it. But all things considered, this is not that bad looking at all. You can still tell what it is. Oh. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, let me get the green shine first, maybe. I'll be right back. Nobody escapes. One day, all these raccoon hides will pay off. It feels like it might be a news truck or something. Wait, I'm already... Oh, one random bit. In the middle of the forest. So easy to miss. We need three more. Wait, did I use up all of my fragments already? I thought I had a whole bunch. I know earlier I upgraded, but did I really... Really? Hmm. Oh, the hunting trials are right here, too. Okay. Sure, we'll go back to the relics for now. Alright, what's going on here? Actually, wait, what? Pack your hollow bags! A chat log between Doomsurfed1065, that might be a code. And Voyager 716180. No, seriously! I had pictures of Harriet Choi printed on my absorption pads. Now, every time I lose bladder control, she's the one with a sense of doom. <laughs> the new gene treatment, though? Is it helping? I'm not scheduled for mine yet. 
Yeah, it's repaired some of the nerve damage, but who's really interested in curing Doom Plague now? This is us, trapped for the rest of our lives. True. But not as trapped as we were, hey? What holo trip do you want to go on next? <sighs> That's all I think about. Then tell me, where are you planning on going? Not sure, maybe Wyoming? Wyoming? Yeah. You need to think bigger. You mean like Montana? <laughs> I mean like anywhere. This is holo travel. We can go overseas. Overseas? Yes, we could go to Europe or China or the moon. What's there to see on the moon? At least Wyoming still has a few animals. Nah, fair point. Wyoming it is then. It's kind of like how we can go to places with VR. They call it holo travel. So maybe more than just putting on a helmet then, huh? Doom Plague. What is Doom Plague? Kind of reminds me of Death Stranding, actually. And I know the, the first one had a few references to that because they both run on the Decima engine. Repaired some nerve damage. Doom Plague is something that gives nerve damage. They're trapped. They're trapped as in they can't, they're not very mobile. Are they talking via chat, like some kind of holo chat because they're both not very mobile normally? And then now they're talking about, oh, you know, let's try to go to places with our holo abilities because we can't really go there in real life. It doesn't sound like the robot, the Pharaoh Plague happened here yet. Or at least they're not talking about it. So maybe this is some kind of a medical facility then. It'll be slow going if I use acid on it. No. No, leave me alone. I just want to look around here. Oh god. You're not coming over, are you? Don't, okay? Don't. There's a- okay, I'll look at the grazer site. Maybe we can wrap around the other way? This isn't the old world relic ruins. I thought it was because of the building. I have a coil that makes it so if I slide around, I get more damage, right? So try to like slide and then aim and all that. This is not a grazer site, man. There's some cost riders here. And that's not a great. That's a grazer. I'll pass. Just gotta keep but that's not a grazer. Quiet. No, 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 no. It's like the cloth rider is protecting them. <laughs> Chill. I'm leaving. A lot of stuff going on here. A lot of wreckage. Oh, there's a- there's a big taller building there. You know what? One thing at a time though, let's get back to the relic ruins. Oh, I can't put a- can't put a travel point on it for whatever reason. These walls are pretty sturdy, huh? Thousand plus year old walls. An old world ruin. I have something useful lying around. I should take a look inside. Restless Wield. Level 15. This... Okay, what's in here? This building, the architecture, it's like concrete with curved doors. This seems a little bit different. Compared to the ones that we've seen before. Oh. Okay, let me just... Okay, we- we discovered it. It's fine. A lot of cars in the front. This could be useful. Thanks again! From Aaron Tejero to Daniel Vargas. Daniel, thanks again for watering my plants while I'm out. Not everyone understands that I don't want to leave them to the bots. Cleaning and resupplying the station are one thing, but like you said, the living should be cared for by the living. I've set the entry code to the year the station was built. Oh, and please don't leave my dragon plant out in the sun for too long. Aerinth. The year the station was built. Probably starts with a two. Or actually, judging by the, the kind of building here, maybe it's not a two. 
No, but that was a hollow thing, though. That was like a hollow document, so... No. It's gotta be a two. I feel more acrobat- Oh, no! I didn't see that. I feel more acrobatic that we're parkouring with a Karja outfit. Nope. Gotta get back up. Go in the back. Let's trust another thousand-year-old ladder. Oh, it's right here. That was fast. This data might help. Construction year. Daniel, how long have you been with us again? Knowing the year the facility was built isn't exactly a prerequisite for someone in your position, but have you looked at the exterior of the station? It's hard to miss. Take a few minutes right now to familiarize yourself with the building. It's a historical landmark for a reason. Then go water the plants, please. On the wall. Oh, some kind of a historical site. That's why it looks kind of, um, not high-tech and modern and all that. Looks like this door needs some kind of key module to open. Better search the ruin. Oh, it's gonna rain soon. A wall with text that survived a thousand years? Hoping we can find it. Oh, what's this? An ancient rail cart. Huh. I wonder if it can still move. He's slamming into the wall. There's some green shine up there. Okay. Wow. Elo, you strong. <laughs> oh, or we can make it um a way for us to go upward. Yeah, because now we can stand on this. Go up like that. The screen I might trade for something good. There's some kind of relic in that room. How do I get in there? I think we're really just missing the code right now. So if we look around carefully on the outer. Oh! Oh, it's not a two! 1923! Wow, that is ancient, even by our standards. 1923. I thought it would be painted or something, but okay, if it's a metal thingy, then that makes sense. Yeah, because if it's painted, then that's a there's a really high chance that it just rubbed off from the rain or something. Sick jump. Oh! We need a key module. Not good enough. Okay. We gotta get inside here. Some kind of a... Uh, rope. It's a hotel. A very, very old hotel. So we obviously want to get it from that side. Oh, there's some ropes here. Okay, from up there. Oh, opening the door lets us access the rope. But what about the one on this side? Can I stand straight up? I'm trying to see if I can go over there. Do you think the rail cart might have something to do with it? The rail cart would probably make everything too easy. Can I s Nope. I think this is the final thing. But over here, there's probably maybe the sky's clearing up. Storm's over. Maybe this is how we get to the key module. Or maybe it's the other way around. Okay, let's try. It. Uh there's a this is following the tracks. Oh, look, look, look. The tracks we can make it go in another direction. What does this switch to? It looks like this switch controls the tracks. Did that change anything? I didn't see a change. Okay. Moving this along. <laughs> You're pulling it by rope. You're so strong.
Just, just pull it, pull it. And then since I've done the lever already, we should be able to uh, go straight forward. I can't see in front of me. Animals, stay clear. Don't want to accidentally kill you. Why is this this trail so close to the hotel? Oh, maybe like a 1923 train. All right, so we actually can't go in there yet. That's where the ornament is, but we can go over here. And there's a key module. A key module. Perfect. Fantastic. Oh, we could have jumped up there. Maybe. So this was first built in 1923, but then they kept it in the 2000s as a, some kind of um, historical site. So that's why there's key modules and more high-tech stuff. There we go. Oh, we don't even need the code? Or, no, we do. This needs a code. I think I found some data in the ruin that might help. There we go. Oh! What? Was I not able to reach it? Did I not jump the right way? Okay, let's try again. If they're keeping this as a historical site though, I kind of wish they wouldn't put some hollow stuff on it. Kind of ruins the vibe, you know? The whole point of why we're trying to keep it is because we want to keep it historical and all that. Uh, I feel like I can't really get that high up. Am I just crazy or...? There we go. Okay. Where to now? We can open this up. That's the question mark that we saw. Perfect. So the trail, the, the cart can go back inside here. Which lets us... Climb up. Oh, do we really have to bring the cart back this way? Really? Whoa, so this hotel, the train directly goes into the hotel. That's kind of... Oh, that's pretty sweet. Oh, can I pre-do this? Okay. Tracks are lined up with the curve side now. The change was over there, no wonder. Thought it was gonna rain again. Oh, move this over here. If the machines and the animals see this, they're like, what the heck is Aloy Savior Meridian doing? Just playing with train carts. As far as it goes. It's getting really dark. If only we could rest at this hotel here. We could. It's just not comfortable in any way. What the heck? Maybe this is why they kept it, because it's so special. That, for some reason, the... the train... Wait, they mentioned this being a station, though. Oh, so maybe it's a train station with a hotel nearby, or like a hotel attached. It's not just about okay. hotel. Made it. Perfect. Ah, there's something over there. Got another relic. Better keep it safe. Maybe I'll figure out what to do with it later. Weekend getaway. When we all agreed to a weekend getaway to celebrate Carlos's big promotion, you know what I imagined? Lounging by the pool under a climate-controlled dome, slipping overpriced drinks and fancy cups. Instead, I'm sweating right through my silk shirt, trying to find a good spot to stow this orb thing, while Elisa and Carlos distract the tour guide, and Tom and Amir take their thousandth self-hollow, with the boxcars outside. But you know what? It's totally worth it, because nobody screws over the golden toucans. Natasha. A lot of names here. Natasha, Carlos, Amir, Tom, Elisa. 
all people that hate Kyle, presumably. So let's just go over what we've seen so far. Oh, collectible, right? Kyle. This is something... The ornaments are something really important to Kyle, maybe. And they're being jerks by spreading it all over the place while going on some kind of a vacation, is what it sounds like. Well, maybe Kyle deserves it. I don't know. Is Kyle an asshole? Maybe. Here we go. Thank you very much. Alright. I think this ruin's cleared out. Oh, how nice of you to let me know. Hmm. 